Last month, we showed you just how incredible the menu at Maple and Ash was when they brought their food truck here to Good Morning Arizona. Now their brick and mortar restaurant is officially open in Scottsdale and it is all the buzz. <laughs> Kylie is out there checking it out. What are your first thoughts? You know what? I am so impressed with this place. I have not seen a restaurant like this open up in the valley. I think this is probably one of the most talked about restaurant openings of the year. So let's take a little peek around. This place is kind of a modern steakhouse. It's vibrant, it's eclectic, and it has such a cool vibe. We want to introduce you to one of the guys who's running things here. This is Jacob. Jacob, Hi. has it been a crazy couple months for you? It has been a crazy few months, but it's been very, very exciting for us to, to be able to show uh, the Valley, all about maple and ash. You guys have been open for a few days now, almost a week. Uh, tell me a little bit about this space because this place is awesome. Yeah. There's not a restaurant like it in the Valley. There, re there really isn't, and it's a fun, eclectic, very, very exciting restaurant uh, centered around uh, wood-fired steaks, coal-roasted seafood, uh, and great cocktails. Uh, we're going to taste the cocktails in just a second, but as we take a peek around, hello, we've got some folks. They're trying to hide from the camera. They're groupies. They love this place <laughs> so much. So you guys can seat about 270 people. you got indoor and outdoor seating. Yes. Um, and you guys are from Chicago, we really well-known restaurant in Chi-Town. Yes, and uh, the exciting thing for us is uh, that there's so many Chicagoans that, that visit uh, the Valley in the wintertime, and we figured... Why not choose uh, Scottsdale for them to continue enjoying maple and ash? So tell us a little bit about your bar area because this is pretty cool. This is a fun place to hang out, maybe even if you're not going to do the full dinner menu. Yeah, this really is an exciting, fun place. Bar begins to fill up by 515 every single night. And it's just a, a very exciting atmosphere, very lively, uh, great place for, for our guests to uh, congregate. Uh, and really enjoy some fabulous cocktails. Okay, can we talk about the cocktails? Because sure. you know what the saying, it's five o'clock somewhere. You guys are going to do three different cocktails for us. That uh, is you've correct. already have one done. Ooh. Yes, Ooh, Spanish <laughs> secrets. That so, looks good. Okay, yeah. give me the so, secret. So, What's the 411 so on this? So, kind of our version of a Clover Club here, uh, but rather than using uh, the lemon juice, we actually have added it with hibiscus. So, is that mm -hmm. one of the uh, that is most one of popular our, cocktails? One of our signature cocktails, uh, obviously one of the prettiest cocktails too. So. Okay, I'm not going to taste it. I'm just going to hold it and pretend like I'm drinking it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about that next cocktail. What's that? Yeah, so the next cocktail is actually called our Sparkling Orchid. Uh, so here we're using a Japanese uh, gin, uh, and then it's topped with sake and an orchid. Very, very light and refreshing. Uh, great for these warm days. Okay, uh, get the cocktail in your hand. We got to do a cheers because yeah. again, maple and ash opening up at the Scottsdale waterfront. Cheers. You guys are open every day of the week, uh, five to ten on Sunday through Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday you're open yep. until eleven o'clock. Correct. We're going to talk food because that's what you're known for. What yeah. can we expect coming up in our ten o'clock hour? So coming up in the ten o'clock hour, we can certainly expect wood-fired steaks. Uh, we'll be cooking out of our Jasper oven, some coal-roasted seafood as well. All uh, prime dry aged steaks. Okay, can we kind of hang out? Yeah. You want to come grab yeah. a little table here, guys? We're just going to, you know, socialize, get to know each other a little sure. better, and we'll see you back here at about 10 30 as our little tour of Maple and Ash continues. Well, the popular Chicago Steakhouse Maple Nash is now here in the Valley and finally open in Scottsdale. Kylie is live with what's on the menu. Hey, good morning. We are time and we are ready for the best part. We're talking about the food. This is a really sleek, cool, modern steakhouse that just opened up at the Scottsdale waterfront. But we're in the kitchen where it is hot and we want to introduce you to the chef. This is Danny Grant. He is a two time Michelin award winning chef. How is it like being here in the valley? I'm loving it. It's great to be here. And you actually started here over at Sanctuary. I did. Ten years now, you're opening up a restaurant. Are you like, pinch me? Yes, it's a su really sweet homecoming. So we're going to talk about some food. We have got this seafood tower that I have been eyeing all morning. Tell me a little <laughs> bit about what's on this. So this is definitely one of our signature items. It's a wood-fired seafood platter. It has king crab, scallops, lobster, oysters. And what we do is we simply dress it with a little bit of garlic butter Ooh. and roast it in this coal-fired oven. This oven's running around 900 degrees. So it, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so can I. So it concentrates the flavor of the seafood and adds a nice smoky component to it. And Maple and Ash, that's obviously the name of the restaurant, and the uh, origin is because of the way that you cook yes. everything. We cook everything on those two hardwoods, which you can see right here. Those are Maple and Ash just burning nice and hot giving us some nice smoky aromas. So let's talk a little bit about your steak because Perfect. you have some fabulous cuts of meat right here. 
I like myself a tomahawk. I've only had it once, but it was I've, amazing. I've met no one that doesn't like it. <laughs> but we have a few things that you would expect at a steakhouse and then a few things that are a little bit different. So this is a Wagyu steak, Kobe beef, filet mignon, 28 day dry aged ribeye, 28 day dry aged New York strip with the bone in. The bone in is really critical for us. And then this is a cowgirl steak, Ooh. which is just- What does the, that mean? So it's just the eye of the ribeye and we take off the cap. And what we get by doing that is one of our most popular off the menu steaks called the Spinellus. And this is just the cap of the ribeye that we take off and serve just that. Okay, can you put any of these oh, on the grill? Oh, we're gonna- Okay, so you do a little salt and pepper. Really, really simple, just salt and pepper. And then and as then we're grilling it, we base it with something called a little bit of beef butter. Ooh. There's just all those great flavors that you want on a steak. And you guys obviously are known for your steak, but you've got a lot of other really cool uh, menu options. What's your favorite thing aside from the steak? One of my favorite things aside from the steak, I think our caviar program is out of control and we do this really beautiful handmade pasta program Ooh. that has uh, one of the best ones that's been on the menu since day one is our ricotta agnolotti. And we call that on the menu our little pillows of love. Okay, I want a little pillow of love. <laughs> yeah. So the steaks are going. Yep. We're gonna go back to the seafood tower. Because how do this, we finish this off? This is how fast it goes. You Woo! can see it sizzling. <laughs> and there's an excessive heat warning outside, and there's an excessive <laughs> heat warning inside the restaurant. Exactly. Today. So we finish this off with a little bit of garlic butter. <gasps> This looks delicious. Yep. Calories don't count here, right? Oh, come on. No. We're going out to have fun. Yeah. A little bit of ch smoky chili oil. Oh. Oh, I'm in heaven. Parsley. Oh. Real simple. And then just some lemons. Okay, can I give something a try? Oh, absolutely. We do want to let people know you guys are at the Scottsdale Waterfront. I'm going to come over here and get a fork. You guys open every day of the week starting at 5 o'clock. Okay, what should I try? I'm going to get this for you. Okay, just feed me whatever. There you go. Oh, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm diving on to heaven. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Okay, you guys, I've got a seafood tower to eat, so I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, uh, I, I was to gonna work. say, bring some back. Thank bring some so back. We're starving. <laughs> <laughs> that looks delicious.